here because she heard about this wonderful class. She heard that you were visiting. She told me something I should come be a part of too. So I just want to tell you, I want to welcome you to Gracie Mansion. I want to tell you we're thrilled you're here. I want to thank all of the teachers and parents. Thank you, teachers and parents who came along. Let's give them a round of applause. Tell me something that you could do right now 
Like your, what grade? Sixth grade, right? Now? Fourth, fifth, and sixth. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. So there's something, there's something you could be doing right now. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. And how old are you? Ten. Ten. That's a good answer. Excellent. Good answer. Anyone else? Things that you could be doing right now to prepare to be mayor. And that you're all doing that right now, right? Is it Sania? Sanaya. Yes, Sanaya. Yes. Very good. Great. Helping your Helping community. Helping your community is what anyone who becomes mayor should be thinking about all the time. Yes. Like have a good attitude, like um, helping others and like not being mean, like to have a lot of confidence in me. Yeah. Very good. Being respectful. Being respectful. These are great answers. I'll take a couple more. Take a part in things for society. Take a part in. Things that make society better, right? Things that make society better. Can you give me an example? Um, yes. Giving money to charity. Giving money to charity. Great answer. Um, um, giving the food that you want to waste, but you don't need it to the owners. Mm -hmm. Very good answer. That's a way of, of showing leadership, right? By giving to charity, by, by um, standing up and, and um, Trying to make your community a better place. You want to add something else? Yeah, like um, some schools, like it will help people who like, vote for like president and vice president and treasurer and stuff like that. Maybe you can try to like do it. That's good. You can run for something like college. Very, very nice. Helping right. the community. Helping the community? Yes. All right, now. Can we, can we hear one of the letters? Sure, sure. Here's someone. Does someone have a letter they wrote to the First Lady? Yes. Okay. Yes, well, either way, what do you want to do? Yeah, we, we, would like to, we would like you to stand up because you're very beautiful and I want you to be Wow, that was a good answer. <laughs> Who bullied me? What would I say to them now? 
I'm not sure. That's a really good question. I think I would say, if I were they were standing right in front of me, I'd say, um, look at how I turned out. <laughs> that you made it very difficult for me back in those days, and I, I, I hope that you're not the same person, but you know, that, that even though those things happened, I was able to go on and succeed. Oh, Thank you so much. So everyone, I have to go, but I'm going to leave you with the first lady. And I want to tell you, it was great to see you. I loved your answers. I think you guys really show us a lot of hope for the future of New York City. So it's great to see you. First Lady, please continue. I'm the lucky one. You are the lucky one.
You are an important figure, and you are an image to the children and the people of the United States. You are also a very important person to New York. You're a very important person. I know that you've dedicated your life to many things, and that many of those things connect to me. When I grow up, I want to be the mayor of New York City. And the many people that I go to school with and teach me tell me that that's the one thing I can do, being in politics. I have a question for you. A couple questions for you. All right. What would you think if I said the chances of me being mayor of New York City? Ooh. <laughs> now, I'm not a mathematician, so I can't tell you statistically what your exact chances are, but I can tell you that you have a 100% chance of being in politics. That's <laughs> Each one of you, you can all be in politics, you can all be involved in the community, and that's all a step to being in leadership somewhere, whether it's in a profession that you choose or, or in politics. That that's like the, a step that everybody can do, and not a lot of people do it. So I encourage you all to get involved and stay involved, and, and maybe you'll become mayor one day, maybe not, but you'll still be a leader. tell me something bad to my face about him, but what I hear from the people when I go out is that they're very excited and most of all they're hopeful because he's only been in office for seven weeks. That's not very long, but already you can see that there's, there's change and so I think that makes people feel hopeful that he'll be able to do quite a bit while he's in office. Okay, we have time for just one more question. The First Lady, shall we let the First Lady take a hand? <laughs> you haven't answered the question. You haven't asked the question yet, right? Okay. <laughs> I think it, I think of you as brave. Um, um, do, what do you think of yourself? I, I do think I am I'm brave. I mean, a lot of times I'm scared, <laughs> so I don't always think of myself as brave. I think that the, what makes a person courageous is somebody who's afraid, but they still go out there and do it anyway, whatever it is that they're afraid of. I think it's very natural to have fear, right? I mean, when you're surrounded, um, when you're in a situation that's unfamiliar to you, you're surrounded by people who don't like you, I mean, that's a very healthy thing to feel, is fear, right? And you feel very different from the people around you. It's very healthy to feel fear, but what makes you brave, what makes you courageous is, you know, getting up and going out there and just doing what you have to do anyway. And I think that's what counts. And so I hope you will all be brave. Okay, sorry. No, one more question? Oh, one, one more? If the first lady wants one more question. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get somebody in the back. Somebody who hasn't asked a question. Right here. I can't hear you. What was it like? How was it? Oh, goodness, that's a big question. Um, that's a big question. I think some of you know that the schools that I went to were, were all white. And um, so it was very challenging, especially back in the, you know, I was born in 1954, so a lot of schools were not desegregated, even in the Northeast. Uh, it was tough, but uh, I had a lot of good teachers, the teachers who, who made sure that I, I learned how to read. That was like the most important thing. And I had teachers who encouraged me to write. So when I got upset, when I was frustrated, or I didn't know how to, you know, didn't have good understanding of what was going on around me, I would write. And that helped me a lot. Helped me with my frustration. Instead of beating up somebody, <laughs> I think sometimes I would write a poem. Um, I, so it was, um, it was definitely a mix. But I'm standing here today, so I think that 
um, the things that I went through help help me help me be a stronger person. 